This show is brought to you by United Healthcare because we believe in the power of volunteering. Thanks so much for watching Project Volunteer. I'm your host, Randy Lanham, and my co-host and buddy, Teresa Rowe. Teresa, we're here at the Salvation Army in Louisville, Kentucky today. Yes, we are. Are you ready to volunteer? I am ready. We're going to do a lot of volunteering today and learn a lot of new things. Yes, I'm excited. So we have our host, Mr. Jeremy, going to help us out. So let's get started. Ready? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hi, guys. Jeremy. Yes, welcome to the Salvation Army. Thank you. Come Thank on you. in. Good to be here. Let's get started. Thank you. Have you ever wondered what nonprofit organizations do or about all their different volunteering opportunities? Or what about hearing testimonies from the recipients of their care? Join us on our journey as we walk in the shoes of a volunteer for a day and find out about some amazing organizations that are literally changing the world. And along the way, meet some true surprising heroes making a difference in the lives of others as we feature another Project Volunteer. Uh, a lot of people, when I tell them, you know, what do you know about the Salvation Army? A lot of people say, oh, you know, you are the organization that generally helps people, or you're the organization where I get my food boxes, or maybe uh, you have thrift stores. But what a lot of people didn't know is, is the Salvation Army is actually a religious organization. So the Cliff Notes version of the Salvation Army, um, we were founded in 1865 by a Methodist minister, and his name was William Booth. And church during that time uh, was a little bit difficult. Basically, if you're wealthy, you were invited into church. Or if you're middle class, you were invited into church. No one really cared about the people who were outside on the streets, the people who were having substance abuse issues. They weren't really welcome into church. And in London, England during this time, it's the, at the height of the Industrial Revolution. And a lot of people in these poor farming communities were moving to London, England in order to find a job, but they just didn't have the infrastructure. So homelessness was rampant. So William Booth, he's seen the hypocrisy in that. He said, Said, that is my mission field. These are the people that I want to reach, right? So what William Booth decided to do was he decided to start his own church and he called it the Salvation Army. And he thought that by providing the basic necessities that people were lacking, those individuals out on the streets, food, water, shelter, clothing, that it was the most likely snare to get them to come to his church. So since those humble beginnings in 1865, we've evolved and evolved fairly rapidly. Uh, we are now in 132 countries, all 50 states, and we actually service every zip code in America, which is pretty amazing. Here locally in the city of Louisville, this is our main building. It's called the Old Male High School because uh, we are in a giant old high school. But this is kind of the hub of all of our Salvation Army operations in Louisville. Inside of this building, there's a lot of great stuff that happens. So first and foremost, we have a 300-person homeless shelter where individuals uh, don't need a reason. They can just come in uh, and get a bed for the night, right? It's kind of an uh, emergency shelter. We also have 22 residential apartments that are actually inside of this building. They range from 350 square feet all the way up to 1,200 square feet, so we can actually accommodate families up to eight. And those apartments are for veterans with families and also for individuals uh, who just simply have kids. We don't want the kids to see the shelter aspect of things. In addition to that, in this building, we have 28 male veterans that actually live here year round. This is their home. And then we have a soup kitchen that feeds anywhere from 500 to 700 people seven days a week, 365 days a year. And this is just one of our locations. We also have three churches in the city of Louisville. Again, uh, you know, salvation is in our name. It is very much a religious organization. And you do not have to be a Christian or go to church here in order to uh, get a meal from the Salvation Army, get any Christmas presents. It's simply the motivation and the reason why the employees do what they do, because we believe that uh, that's how God would want to treat people, right? So some of the volunteer opportunities include our Red Kettle Cafe. So what that would entail is basically preparing and serving meals, whether it be breakfast, lunch, and dinner to our homeless population. We can always use a helping hand in there. It's uh, really fulfilling to do that. And we can, can, can accommodate individuals or we can accommodate groups in that setting really cool opportunity. Uh, another way people can get involved is we have a food pantry. So we distribute, or at least we, um, we try to distribute, our goal is to distribute uh, about 200 food boxes a month to individuals in our community. Uh, not necessarily the individuals who live here because they're canned goods and frozen meats and things like that. But anyways, we actually will use volunteers to go pick up that food from a local food bank. We'll bring it back here and then volunteers will actually put all of those food groups together in a box. So it should be enough food for a family of three for up to a week. 
And uh, we use volunteers to put each and every single one of those boxes together. So that's always a, a cool thing. Uh, we have an emergency and disaster services department. Um, so we ha actually have a mobile food truck. And if there was ever any sort of emergency and disaster in the city of Louisville or nationally, we actually use volunteers who are trained individuals. They know how to work on our food trucks. And we'll go to those locations if it's a, an apartment fire, if it's a tornado, if it's a flood, if it's a mudslide. We'll bring our canteen and we'll, uh, we'll feed people, we'll, we'll hydrate people, and obviously we'll provide uh, what's very unique to the Salvation Army is emotional and spiritual care. So, you know, uh, if people want to pray, that's great. Um, our people are trained to do that. Or if people simply just want somebody to talk to, we can provide that as well. Other ways in which individuals can get involved, so Christmas is a big deal at the Salvation Army. A lot of people know the Salvation Army for the red kettles, right? The red kettles. So the red kettles, what a lot of people don't know is, is those quarters, dimes, and nickels is actually in every Salvation Army at all locations, our largest fundraiser of the year. And those quarters, dimes, and nickels allow us to host all of the programs that I just told you about. And we do that through volunteers. Angel Tree, it's another way in which volunteers can get involved. Angel Tree is a, a program that we started in 1979. And essentially uh, what Angel Tree is, it is a program that helps out parents or guardians who aren't financially capable of providing Christmas presents from their, uh, to their kids. So we're not actually the people who necessarily give the presents, we're more the logistics behind getting the presents from the donor to the child. But it takes an army of people to do that. If you uh, enjoy administration, you're more than welcome to come and, and help us file papers and do administration type things. But uh, we're willing to work with anybody and everybody and uh, for as long as you want or as little as you want. So We have uh, so many success stories here. Um, but I think my favorite would be um, a kind of a unique story. Um, there's an individual, she came here, and her name was April. And April was struggling. Um, I don't want to go too in depth to her personal story, but she was struggling with a few different things. But she also had two daughters with her. Uh, well, April, uh, once she got here, she got an apartment and we provided those basic necessities, those food and, and water and shelter. And then from there, uh, what we try to do is, is we try to um, get individuals in classes to help them uh, get on a self-sustaining lifestyle, right? Because that is the ultimate goal. And so April got in a few of the classes that we offer here at the Salvation Army, uh, business management classes and resume classes and also sewing. Well, April, she started taking a sewing class and she got really, really, really good at sewing. Uh, she was uh, showing us all of the things that she was making and they were, they were awesome. And when the other thing that she did is that she started taking uh, a business management class. So fast forward um, about a year and a half, April is now her own licensed company. She owns a company called Wonderfully Marley, and that's Wonderfully, W-O-N-D-U-R-F-L-E-E, -E, Wonderfully Marley. Marley is the name of her daughter. And she makes uh, little girls dresses and boys outfits, hats and ribbons and bows. And she was actually making all of those outfits for a year and a half in her shelter apartment, which is a pretty amazing thing. And fast forward to today, so uh, not last year, but the year before last, she actually walked her line at New York City Fashion Week in New York City. And she is now able to afford her car herself. She has, uh, was able to purchase a home. And uh, that's um, amazing to see somebody go from uh, such a struggle to, you know, taking uh, that steps necessary to get to that self-sustaining lifestyle and flourishing from there. So it's a, it's a pretty awesome thing to see. That's my favorite story. Wendy, I'm excited to be here in the Salvation Army in the kitchen, and you're in charge of this, right? Yes, ma'am. So it looks like you've got a delicious lunch um, today. So tell us what we're doing here and how, how can we help as volunteers? Well, we love to have volunteers because we feed uh, three times a day. So we do the breakfast, lunch, dinner. We're here for all the holidays, all the weekends. We never close. So we're always here. So we're delighted when volunteers come in to help us. Uh, today, we're working on hot rounds for lunch. Okay. So, uh, you know, we kind of base our meals on donations and food that we get in from Dare to Care. And, um, and then we do have to supplement some, but today, we had some nice turkeys that were donated to us. So when we get turkeys, we usually try to do a couple meals out of it. So hot browns are always a great way to spread your turkey um, and get another day or so out of it. So, 
So what you're gonna do first is take your toasted bread, and I got this fresh today. And then I'm gonna take some turkey here, put your turkey on. So we've chopped it all up. And then we're gonna take a piece of bacon there and put your bacon on and your tomato in. And people assemble them different ways, but right. I always kind of do the tomato then the bacon. And then here's our sauce. So our sauce is a Mornay cheese sauce. So um, it's got different cheeses in there and you get it all nice and thick. Oh my goodness. So it's good. Oh. There, yeah. And then we always like to do a little, nothing like a little bit more. Yeah, right. a little cheddar cheese and then a little bit of parsley there to finish them off. Oh, pretty so awesome. I have a tray so far that we're kind of where we were, we stopped, I think, where we were putting on the tomatoes. So okay. you can finish up that tray. The tomatoes in the sauce. Uh -huh. okay. We've got the tomatoes in the sauce. Together yeah. here. Cheddar cheese. And then we put them back in the oven to heat them up and get them that nice bubbly cheese on the top. That's my favorite part. So. Oh, uh, yeah. But volunteer opportunities we have, I'll let you kind of work on those, are uh, people come in and they'll help us do just what you all are doing, like prep. Um, a lot of times we'll have people cut up things uh, for us. Um, do you need training for that? What's that? Do you need training no, to No, absolutely <laughs> not. If you can come in, whatever skill level you are, we can find a job for you because it all helps us out. Always serving um, is always great. That gives us, too, as a cook, time to clean up and kind of start to prepare for the next meal. How's this? That's perfect. Ooh. So I would say just put a little, job, a little bit of parsley on there, oh. and then I'll pop it okay. in real quick. So and then we've got our, uh, our next tray. Those are perfect. Oh, how much. This is so Kim, much fun. Yeah. What do you like best about volunteering? Well, working um, with the with United Healthcare, which is a healthcare company, where our mission um, is to help people live happier lives, healthier lives, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Personally, it's, the reward is mine. Um, at the end of the day, I've come in and I've, I've helped, and there's nothing, nothing that feels better than that, than be a part of, of something um, collaboratively with, with the, the community that I live in. Well, and it's fun too, you meet new people and get absolutely. to hear stories mm -hmm. and um, yes. Yes. I think sometimes too just the just smiling and people going through the line and asking how they are makes their day. So I know sure. you're right. It changes people's well. lives. It does, it does, absolutely. And a little encouragement goes a long way. Sure does. Absolutely. Yeah. Here's what the finished product looks like. Oh, that oh, looks wow. awesome. That's awesome. Just to, yeah, just have that done. So uh I feel so like we'll I'm be on a cooking free. show right I know. now. Something like that. Uh, do you have an inspirational story, Wendy, that you would like to share? Maybe, you know, something you've experienced, someone you've met um, that really sticks out. Yeah, there's one gentleman that um, I used to feed, and we got him into the veterans program here. Mm -hmm. And he excelled and went through the program, and um, he was having a lot of health problems and had lost his home and just had some bad times. So it was nice to to start with him kind of there, and then I could mm -hmm. see him progress. He got in with one of our case managers here. Then he was homed here for uh, six, six months to a year. And like I said, he excelled, and he's now in his own apartment, and he's living his own life. And he said we were, we were a blessing. Thank you all so much for helping. And, Thank you. Uh, you're welcome to come back anytime. Okay. Thank we you. always need help. Thank you. Thank All you right. for the work that you do and the love that you share. Thanks. And thanks for your volunteer work. training me and Kim thanks for hanging out with us hey, today thank you for having me I know you was cooking in the kitchen Woo! now we're gonna do some serving that's so, right so Wendy what do we do all right so sometimes we have all of these guys filled up for breakfast and stuff but today for lunch you know lunch is a little bit lighter so we've got our hot brown today yeah so I just kind of stick on here for everybody and then I push it down there and we'll scoop out our green beans and corn for everybody okay yeah. And then just kind of start to set them up here. Okay. And then they will start to roll in here in a few minutes. And how many people will we feed? I believe there is uh, about 40 down there today. Okay. So we'll have 40 folks that'll 
that'll come through here and eat. All right. Let you set that up there. Yes, sir. All right. Well, this is awesome. Now, who is it that you're you're feeding? Did I understand this is uh, some folks that are actually staying here? Um, the, we we just actually finished uh, feeding the folks that live here. Oh, okay. We have a veterans program, so we have vets that live here that have families, or um, we have a men's dorm. And then we have families that are in emergency situations, so we have apartments upstairs, and so we fed those folks. Now we've got the uh, uh, just folks coming in that are, you know, maybe homeless or sure. just need okay. a meal. You know, gotcha. uh, we don't ask questions. We're happy to feed whomever comes through the line. Right. So uh, yeah, gotcha. But we do have some folks that kind of stay here throughout the day, and so they come and they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner with us, which yeah. is fine. And here they come. All right. Welcome in. Well, I thank you so much for allowing Good. us to do this today. This is great. Yes, we appreciate having you all. So thank you all so much. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome in. We have hot browns today. Yeah. the philosophies of the Salvation Army is soup, soap, and salvation. And so we believe that an individual is not going to be worried about bettering themselves, much less their spiritual life, if they're worried about where their next meal is going to come from or uh, their clothing. And so we believe that by providing those things uh, first, an individual can then really worry about the things that truly matter. So we try to take care of those things at the most basic human level and then give uh, them the opportunity or the tools necessary to, to improve their situation. I'm gonna go get some people. Okay. Can I get one for me and my husband? A sure. Sprite and a Coke. Sprite and a Coke. What about some snacks? One of each. There you go. You're welcome. God bless y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What can I help you with? Uh, Sprite? You want some snack? All right, yes, sir. You're welcome. Coke? You want snack? There you go. Thank you. Sprite? Yes. Snack? Yes. As well? Thank you, man. You're welcome. What can I get for you? Uh, a Coke and a Sprite and a snack on you. Okay. There you go, babe. Welcome. What can I get for you? Anything you won't give me, I'll take it. All right. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. Good. So Mindy, thank you so much for allowing us to come here and hang out. And Teresa and I are excited about one of the programs the Salvation Army does is pack food boxes. So you're our trainer, we are volunteers. Okay. So what do we do? Show you how to do a food box. Okay. Well, first you tape up your box, which is kind of obvious. But then you have this list um, that shows you everything that will go into a food box. I like that. It's organized because Randy flies by the seat of his pants, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is very nice. So this will show you everything that we expect in our regular um, box. So all the items that you need are found on these shelves all along here. And you can start by finding canned vegetables and canned fruit. Okay. Can and vegetables? I think you can work on peanut butter and soup because that's it, on your side. Okay. Does it matter what canned vegetables or how it, many? It doesn't matter, but beside each one it says oh. um, four. Four, so okay, gotcha. Four canned vegetables and two canned fruits. Gotcha. So I might mix it up a little bit. Okay. I have one peanut butter. <laughs> and. Oh, fruit. we're doing both boxes, so yeah. we're both. And the race is on, and I'm going to beat you. Hey, guys, no, you're not. not. No, yes, you're I not. think so. No, you're Can't not. Fruit. Oh, That's yes, ridiculous. we are, too. Is spaghetti on the list here? Sweet. Yes. Okay. So fruit. Two, oh, yes, here's fruit, and here's fruit. 
and two tomato sauce. Okay. Two soup. All right. Where's my soup? Here's some right here. And everything should be labeled. Hopefully. <laughs> everything should be labeled. Soup. Peanut butter. Okay. Maybe one peanut butter. Peanut butter. Where's the Too bad, so butter? sad, it's on my side. <laughs> Bring me some peanut butter, well, Tracy. I got you some soup. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now what else? Breakfast item. Breakfast item, where's that? Is that quick oats? Oh, okay. Yeah. So any out. kind, so cereal or whatever, right? Yeah, okay. cereal would okay. count. You're probably gonna wanna put it this way so it'll fit in the box. Okay. Oh, because we wanna close the top. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Meat item, what, what do we have for meat item? So meat item is usually uh, like chicken, a can of chicken, or a beef stew pack, or some can salmon. of salmon. Okay. Either of that is fine. Okay, Teresa. I need one of those, thank you very much. Now what? Pasta. I've got that over here. Pasta. Right. Do you want the sauce or the pasta? That's the sauce. We would need pasta, right? Yeah, do you already have your pasta sauce? No. So oh, that okay. would be next. So pasta, one or two? Two. Two pastas. And it's got a lay flat. Look at there. <laughs> See, you're going to learn how to pack a box. Two, two sauces. All right, condiment. So right over here. Like mustard, something like this? Yep. What do I have? Oh, I love spicy brown mustard. I just bought this the other day. Here <laughs> oh, you go. Oh, thank there you. you. So there's that. Bag of rice or beans. That's on your side. Rice or beans. You have to get some extra, Randy. Okay. <laughs> there you thank go. You. Look at us sharing. I We're know. getting along well. It don't are, always happen like that. You guys okay. are working as a team today. <laughs> Side items, what so, would that be? Side items would be anything like rice or pasta that comes in a pack, that kind of thing. Perfect. Yep. Or macaroni and cheese. Oh, so you yeah. can probably throw those in there too. Okay. You can tape it up. I know it's not a race, but if it was. Come on now. No, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna help you. Nope, I'm gonna help good. you help you I tape it up. I just wanna make sure I did mine correctly. See, she's focused on accuracy. Yeah. And I just want to tell her I beat her later. <laughs> so tell us, tell us why is it important for uh, organizations like the Salvation Army to help, but, but volunteers to get out. How would you inspire volunteerism in the community? The way I would inspire volunteers is for them to actually come and see the people that we serve. Um, they would get to interact with them some, and they would realize that this really is a need. Um, and usually that's what inspired me to start working here, is that's all I need. Um, so when people come and they do it, they realize how much of a need it is, and it will inspire them to come and volunteer more. So. Next, we're going to actually give out the boxes, yeah. right? Yes. I'm excited yeah. about that. All right. Uh, Thanks for your training yeah. and for allowing us to do this. So yeah, let's go hand out some food boxes. Awesome. Sound good? Sounds great. All right. Seems like we're ready. Okay. All right, well, let's go give this to our client. Okay. Hi. Hello there. Thank you. Do you mind if I help you out here? I do not mind. Thank you so much. All right, Teresa <laughs> and I are volunteers for a day here at the Salvation Army. So we're just going to follow you out. I'll let you and Teresa do a little talking, sure. and I'm going to follow you out to your car to yes, help you load it up. Is that Sounds okay? Good. Great. Hi, awesome. Teresa. Y'all lead the way. How are you? Okay. I'm fine, thank you. Good, how are hey. you? Hello. So tell me why you're here today at the Salvation Army picking up food and goodies. Well, so um, I work for Wellspring. I am a case manager. Okay. Um, we have clients with mental illness that have recently been housed and we're helping them feed. We're helping to feed them. Oh, wow. So I'm taking food to a client today. And you're packing it in yourself. I am indeed. <laughs> What do you like um, about your job and doing what you're doing, helping someone else out? Um, I love the fact that I can change the life of someone else. Someone that has been at the bottom right. and help them to establish purpose in their life. Mm -hmm. That is my purpose in this job. That's beautiful. We're all supposed to be doing that. Yes, ma'am, we helping are. Helping each other out. Yes. So 
you're an encouragement and I appreciate you doing what you're doing. Well, thank you so much. I love this job. I live for this job. I quit my last job for this job. Oh, wow. I have a, a passion to help people. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the debt I, that's what I pay to live on earth. Well, I mean, that's that's good. It yes. makes the world a better place. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's pack this in yes, your car. Yes, ma'am, thank right, you. I'll grab something. Oh, God. Come on, muscles. Yeah. I do teach fitness classes. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So how do you want these in any <laughs> Just in there. Way? They're going to go in and come right back out. She teaches fitness classes. I'm a bodybuilder. You can tell, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can laugh. Keep laughing. <laughs> See, I like that. <laughs> we get along good. <laughs> I'll get this one, sir. All righty, All right. I'll get this. Maybe on the floorboard. Go. All right. All right. Anything else? That's it? All I think set? that's it. Wait. Is that it? Thank you. you guys have a great day. All right, you, you too. too. Thank you. Thanks. This America aircraft carrier 76 to 80 and pretty much run my own business after that went to college for a while uh, if it hadn't been for me being in the service I wouldn't have these opportunities like I have today getting a house and everything getting ready to get my voucher so I'll be getting ready to get out of here finally oh they've given me a place to live food to eat They've done pretty good for me, for real. But I like giving back, like you said, if they got something, like yesterday I worked in the uh, pantry, food pantry, about four hours, and I'm probably gonna help him probably tomorrow to get this all set up for Friday. And I just love, I love being here, man. Isn't it? This is one of the best programs in the world. Thanks everybody so much for watching Project Volunteer. Teresa, we had a great time here at the Salvation Army in Louisville, Kentucky today, right? I learned a lot that I did not know about the Salvation Army. There's so many amazing programs that they do. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And lots of volunteers that they need. Yes. We want to inspire you to get out in your community and volunteer today. Go out, make a difference, right? That's Teresa? right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. If you have an idea for our show, a story of inspiration, or would like to nominate a volunteer hero, get in on the conversation on our Facebook page or go to projectvolunteer.org. This show is brought to you by United Healthcare because we believe in the power of volunteering.